So all right, we're in the Make the Cut software right now, and this is in version 2.2, and this tutorial is going to be going over this new box that you see right here, which is the Layers Property box. And we're going to be going over everything such as, you know, the eyeball, the lock, the color picker, you know, the expander. So it's going to be a good little tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a project over here. Now, to understand layers real quick, all you need to know is layers will help you stay organized you know group group all the same colors it's just a great little little tool that they added in this software you know to help you stay organized so um, first of all you can think of layers as you know a sandwich you know like like for example this uh, this top layer right here would be the bread as well as the bat because over here in the layers uh, panel I have you know that top layer text is on top that bat is on the bottom and of course the star is in between so I guess that would be the meat maybe but anyways as you can see um, you know that top layer is on top of that star as well as that star is on top of that bat which is exactly how it's shown over here in that layers property now of course we'll go over these buttons here and uh, show you what that's all about all right. So first of all, you'll notice this little eyeball right here. All that is is the show and hide. For example, say I only wanted to cut the uh, the top layer right here, but I wanted the bat and the star to be cut on different paper later on, and I don't want to cut everything, you know, of course, all on that paper. So I'm going to click on the eyeball on what I do not want to cut, and then all I have to do is cut uh, just by clicking on this little blue circle up here with the scissors which means we'll cut with the cricket so the only thing that will cut is the the top layer and because the bat and the star have essentially disappeared due to the hat to eyeball so let's go ahead and turn them back on all right the next thing you'll, you'll see is the uh, the color chooser so I'm gonna select a layer I'm gonna hit the color chooser and now I can choose from a array of different colors this helps you visually you know on what what you want colored so I'm just gonna keep that as red <clears throat> alright next is the lock now the lock feature you know you can click on the, the lock button here and now that layers lock I cannot edit it I cannot move it I cannot rotate it it is locked however I can still move the bat or the star you know so that that lock right there just affects that layer now, of course, the, the down arrow, and you'll notice you'll have an up arrow and a down arrow here. That just allows you to move the layers, either, you know, move them up or move them down. So say, for example, I want that star to be on the top layer. All I have to do is hit that up arrow, and now that star is on top of every layer. So that's what that arrow does. All right, next is the, the expand the little plus sign that you see right here that that just shows you what is uh, what is being contained in that main layer so I call this a main layer just like this middle star is a main layer because it has a plus sign and just like the bottom bat is a main layer now what is contained underneath is called what I call a sub layer or you know they call it a child uh, you know because this is the parent this is the child layer so that that is basically what what happens when you hit that expand button now these tools down here um, you know you have this is what I call the global global switches if you if you hit this button it will globally uh, hide all or show all uh, it's just one quick way of you know say for example I had a lot I had a lot of layers I only want to cut one thing which would be the middle star that'd be a quick way to uh, to close to close out all those other eyes and just have one eye showing so it's a little time saver just like this is the global lock button it will globally uh, you know lock all the pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and go to show all and every single piece is locked you know and then I can toggle them individually to unlock them so that's what that that does now say for example uh, this plus sign right here is to create a new layer all I have to do is click that a new layer appears and say I wanted to uh, to type some text on there you know I'm just gonna type in some text and I'm gonna hit the add button 
and of course I can move this wherever I wish and I can double click here to rename the layer you know I can just call this text layer and it will be good to go uh, that's how you create a new layer now for example if I want to combine uh, the top layer text right here and this text that I just typed I can uh, hold the shift button down and that big blue box will highlight both things making sure that they're selected and I can hit this button down here which is I will move them all to its to their own separate layer so let's go ahead and check that out alright it moved that moved the text and the top layer so I can just go ahead and delete those and now as you can see uh, it moved it to its own individual layer and if we click on that plus sign now we have two sub layers contained in one main layer so you know of course you can double click that layer and you just make that your text layer and of course you can rename these as well by just double clicking alright now one of the buttons that we didn't discuss is the uh, the X's and of course that's the delete you saw me use it a little earlier and say we didn't want want the uh, the items contained in that layer all we had to do is hit the delete button and it is gone so uh, that with that I'm Rob with scrappydoo.com and I hope to see you next time thanks for watching